One of the things that comes up in the comments time after time after time is somebody says, I could break down wood chips so much faster if I did this. Well, today we're gonna do this, that, and all of it because we're gonna try a whole bunch of different ways to break down these hardwood wood chips as fast as possible. The goal here is speed. How can we break these down and turn them into a compost-like substance as fast as possible? Keep in mind, this is an experimental video. I haven't tried any of these techniques or tested them out, but I wanted to present them early on in case you wanna follow along this summer. How can we break down the wood chips faster? Here's what people have suggested. Add more nitrogen. We'll do it. Add an easier to digest form of carbon. Doing that, turn the pile. Doing that too, inoculate the pile with fungi. Of course we're doing that. We love fungi. To start the experiment, this video is gonna highlight three of those methods. We're going to take two barrels and we're gonna fill them with these fresh wood chips. Both barrels are gonna be treated identically except for what is added to the barrels in addition to the wood chips because one barrel is gonna get blood meal layered into the wood chips as the wood chips are added into the barrel. Along with the blood meal, I'm also gonna be introducing a low form of carbon into the wood chips in the form of just baking sugar. Yes, you heard that baking sugar. It's easy to digest for microbes. Hopefully it gets them off to a kick start. The other barrel acts as a control. It's only filled with wood chips. After filling, both barrels will be treated identically. They'll get watered the exact same, and if there is any turning involved, they would get turned the same. Right now, the plan isn't to turn these at all. It's just to fill them and let them sit until completion. If we're not turning, how do we aerate the pile? No, we don't. The design of the pile aerates itself. The top of the barrel is open. It's gonna stay open. Now I may put a piece of landscape fabric over the top to help hold in moisture and keep sunlight out, but it will still let air through. So top is open. The bottom is full of holes. Those holes are gonna allow air to get through into the bottom of the pile and also allow water to drain out. And then to aerate the core of the pile, we're just gonna use a single stick. I wanted this to be replicable at home and around the world, so I'm trying to keep it low tech here. The stick will simply go into the center of the pile like this. When the wood chips are put in, the stick is in there, and then later on, the stick is pulled out, leaving the hole where the stick was in its place. That hole will provide air to the pile throughout the height of the cylinder. In terms of aerating the center of the pile, I went back and forth on this. I was really worried about the trade-off of aeration versus moisture retention. I feel like that center hole, while providing a lot of great air to the pile, also provides a lot more surface area for evaporation and allows the pile to dry out a lot easier. In the end, I opted for aeration and then I'm just gonna have to do my best to keep the pile moist. One other thing that I will add to both barrels is I'm gonna find some wood chips that have already broken down on my property and I'm gonna introduce them to the wood chips that I'm trying to break down. This will serve the function of inoculating those wood chips with locally adapted, locally functioning decomposer fungi. That saves the fungi that are out there floating around that I'm breathing in right now and the ones that are on the wood chips right now from having to breed out and colonize the pile and find the pile. If I can start by putting something directly into the pile that's already breaking down wood chips, well then hopefully that'll give the pile a kickstart. I know one key to success of this experiment is adequate moisture. So when I fill the barrel and build the pile, I'm gonna be adding water to the contents. While in theory, the contents are already fully hydrated because they were just alive, I want to supplement that onboard hydration with some outboard hydration to help the microbes work more efficiently. Here's the blood meal I'll be adding to the contents of the barrel. Nothing special about it. 14% nitrogen, we're just gonna layer it in. The sugar that I'm adding to the pile, nothing special about it other than it was cheap. If you think about composting, the ideal carbon to nitrogen ratio is something like 30 to 40 to one. Well, with wood chips, that ratio can be something like 600 to one. So by adding a pure nitrogen source like blood meal and a lower form of carbon like sugar, 
we're trying to decrease that ratio in the wood chips, get it closer to that 30 to one. So even if we take it from 600 to one down to 100 to one, that's still a lot better and hopefully will lead to a lot faster results. One thing I wanna make really clear, speed isn't everything. Sometimes you sacrifice quality for quickness. But in this case, the goal is quickness. The goal isn't necessarily quality, whatever that might mean or however you might define it. Sure, we might get better results if we do this in a different way or we slow it down, but we're going for speed here. How can we break down wood chips as fast as possible? That's the goal. Everything else doesn't matter. The barrels are now in their final resting spot where they'll sit through the duration of the composting process. One thing I also did add was just a cut out piece of plastic covering the surface of the contents to help prevent evaporation. And after a few days, I will be removing these posts to allow a central air hole to aerate the pile itself. These are just two of the ways that I'm trying to break down wood chips a lot faster than they normally would. In future videos, I'll be mixing manure with wood chips in a barrel and letting that sit. I'll also be inoculating a few barrels with sawdust spawn or mushroom spawn to see if the fungi that I put in there can break down wood chips a lot faster. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to see those future videos. Thanks for watching and until next time, be nice, be thankful, and do the work.